Welcome to help with question three on the Modern Math Benchmark Semester 2 Post Test. So this question says, calculate the length of the missing side of this right triangle. Leave your answer in Bola's graphical form. Anytime we have a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem, which is this formula right here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, and the way we use it is that the legs of the triangle which are next to the right angle and shorter are, go in for A and B, and it doesn't matter which one is which. And then side C, the hypotenuse of the triangle, is the longest side. So if we need to find that hypotenuse, that longest side, we're adding A and B squared. Then to find C, we have to square root, because this formula has C squared, and to undo that, we have to square root. So to find C in this particular question, we need to add a squared plus b squared. So a and b would be 5 and 12. So I'm going to plug in 5 for a and 12 for b. It could be the other way around. It could be 12 for a and 5 for b. It doesn't matter. 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. And 12 squared means 12 times 12, which is 144. So we get 25 and 144, which we add together and get 169. Well, that would be the answer for c squared, but we need to find c. So in order to get c from c squared, we square root the answer. So the exact answer for this problem is beautiful 13 in length. This is a Pythagorean triple 5, 12, 13. That means those three numbers are whole numbers that work perfectly in Pythagorean theorem. Now let's look at question 4. If a sidewalk across the diagonal of a rectangular playground is 10 yards and the width of the park is 5 yards, what is the length of the park? Give your answer in two ways, in lowest radical form and as an approximation to one decimal place. Again, this is going to require Pythagorean theorem because we have a rectangular playground and we have a diagonal. So if you take a rectangle and you draw a diagonal through your rectangle like we have here, you end up with a right triangle, and 10 would be the hypotenuse, right? So this is the sidewalk, and it is 10 yards, as I've labeled in my picture, and then the width of the park is 5 yards, so that's this number here. What is the length of the park? So we're trying to find the length of our park this direction. So that's just one of the legs of our right triangle. So we have the hypotenuse, we have one leg, and we need to find the other leg. That means we have C, and we have A, but we want to find, we have C and we want to, and we have A or B, but we want to find the other leg. So you could say you have A and you're finding B, or you have B and you're finding A, which is how I did this one. So I'm going to say that this is side A and I'm solving for side A. It doesn't really matter if I call this A or B, I'm going to call it A. Of course, I have a color that's not showing up very well. So this is side A, which means this is going to be B, this is going to be C. So I'm going to put B in place of B, and I mean 5 in place of B, and 10 in place of C. So this is going to be 10 squared, subtract 5 squared, right? And then because the formula would be left with A squared, we have to get rid of the square by square root. So A is going to be found by taking square root of c squared minus b squared. So I'm going to plug 10 in for c, so 10 times 10 is 100, and 5 in for b, 5 times 5 is 25, and 100 subtract 25 is 75. That gives us the square root of 75, which we could just put in a calculator and get 8.66 something, so that would round to approximately 8.7 yards, correct? Now this question says we should leave our answer two ways. The other way says to leave it in lowest radical form. I don't know how recently you talked about radical form or remembered that. But what that means is if we're taking the square root of 75 and we use a calculator, we're just approximating it. If we want an exact answer, there's a way to simplify this called lowest radical form. What we do is we find the biggest perfect square, so a number that comes from squaring another number, and we see what the biggest perfect square is that will divide into 75. Well, the biggest one I can think of is 25. So 25 times 3 is the same as 75, and the square root of 25 is 5, because 5 times 5 is 25, we'll call it that. But that leaves this 3 inside our square root. 
So this would be the lowest radical form for this answer. Oh, I have to hide it there. So our lowest radical form is 5 square root 3. That's an exact answer. But really, for all practical reasons, we're just going to want the approximate 8 plus 3.